<laughs> Nuclear warfare in 10 turns, yeah. No tanks fighting cavalry. Or chariots. Land consolidation, mounted archery, portcullis, and the good old monastery. Arg. Again, they didn't give me navigation. <laughs> I'm never going to make it to the mill. Never going to happen. Free Maceman goes into the mix. A card. Architecture for the bath. Philosophy, engineering. I think it's going to be... Hmm. Opens the groves up. We do have a few of those. Uh, we're going to go with monasticism. Duke Maliger and Bilistish the Younger. Hmm. Uh, excuse me? My son is marrying my relative? <laughs> uh, who, who are you trying to marry there? Is this Crusader Kings? Duke Maliger, my son, and Belastish the Younger. Uh, Primo Juncture. Who's, who's who here? There's Belastish. What is that? His aunt? His, his great aunt? <laughs> that's, that's the other side. They're, they're quite removed. We're several generations back. I guess that's okay. <laughs> I'm not sure exactly what relationship that is, but I think it's far enough back that if the match is otherwise okay. <laughs> Opinion of you, angry. She is a commander. Yeah, let's go ahead and say yes. <laughs> 27 this time. Hmm. This is the other one. We're working on Stronghold in the court Courthouse. Another barracks. We got a barracks there. And the, uh, the garrison. So every adjacent barracks is going to get a boost. Enough with the shrines to Poseidon.
Need to get at least... So I've got a settler coming out. I believe he's going to have to go north to the Rodope Mountains. Take that space. I got that one I've been holding on to as well. Crap. I'm still going to be short of at least one settler. If I'm going to secure those two positions. Alright, we're going to send you north. Work on a road network. I'm going to get so mad if <laughs> Assyria comes over and takes this space because I'm just going to end up wounding this guy, not finishing him, risking losing my uh, my slingers here. Yeah, so I've got him down to two. If Assyria rushes over and takes that, I'm going to be mad. <laughs> I will not be amused. Oops. That's fine. We are the warrior. Warmongers, Duchess Consort Bilistish decries our recent sacking of barbarian settlements as dangerous and unnecessary. She accuses the court of sowing aggression across the countryside, which only serves to raise future threats against us. How shall we respond? That's because she's angry, huh? <laughs> Conquering savages is the way of expansion. Oh, gain a settler in Athens! Become warlike! Well, hell yeah! <laughs> we must eradicate these barbarian cultures, more legitimacy, become intolerant. Perhaps there are more more uh, peaceful methods. She becomes endeared. I become gracious. Ah, oh, nope, nope, nope. <laughs> Conquering savages is the way of expansion. And we're going to be warlike. Hell yeah. That's what we need. That's uh, good timing. So I need somebody to not step on that space. I should have done it in a different order. I should have done the archers and then stepped in with the uh, that unit. I think we'll be okay though. So we got a free settler unit. And we have another one finishing up next round. Hey settler unit. Run north. As far as you can. Fifteen orders left. I have no governor here. Wait. Let's use the governor of Corinth. I don't want him to move. Oh, choose a governor for Corinth. All right. <laughs> um, maybe. That's my new minister. Plus five, plus three, or five and three skill, huh? Hmm. She's also prosperous. Sounds good. You're in. Who else? Ugh, man, I'm missing governors in so many places. I screwed this up. I should have checked all my cities and all the people I could have uh, installed long ago. How about the prince? Prince, you are the judge. I do want you as a governor. Uh, I don't know that you can even have one yet. Yeah. Quarry output. That's not the place I want her. 
Whoops. Whoops. Hey there, Felspite. <clears throat> well, let's see. Nine orders left, and I haven't finished moving things. This group is holding tight till we finish up a few other things. Three, four, four turns. It's finishing the settler. Workers are working. The hoplite is just gaining XP from the barracks it's sitting on. Not ready to uh, move forward to mess with these yet. Need to get these units pulled back before I decide to do that. Got a worker. We're going to send uh, getting a road up to that location. Settler moving north. Uh, next settler is going to go there. And we're hoping to finish that fight without Assyria getting involved. Uh, nothing changed other than eight months of development. I can't tell you exactly what differences the game has incurred between those two points of time. I didn't actually closely follow all the updates. That's the thing we're doing is we're checking to see how far along it was. I stopped playing it previously because there was no challenge. I mean, on my like third game, I was playing on the hardest difficulty that it offered and was winning. Which was just wrong, so I stopped playing just in anticipation of more development for the AI and, and locking down some of the the systems and, and so on. So that's what we're finding out. We're, uh, we're taking a second look, seeing how far along it is and if it offers a challenge. I'm still undecided. I haven't decided yet. I've seen some okay moves by the AI. I've seen some real boneheaded moves by the AI. But I haven't yet made a, a good... We're not far enough in yet. I need to get into a really good scrum with the AI, which is coming pretty soon, because he's out of things he can expand into without directly butting heads with me, so pretty soon now we're gonna we're gonna find out but um, yeah, that's, that's the hope I really enjoyed the time, I like the game I really like it, it moves really really quickly, and it's uh, nice, contained within a certain period of time, and um, the order system is really cool so, I like what it offers. The one and only thing that still drives me a little nuts, I've mentioned it earlier, is uh, how quickly units can move across the map and how hard it is to predict how a fight might be going because of that. Especially when roads are getting built everywhere and you get these advanced units with a lot of movement points. You can bring units from all the way across the Empire and bring them directly into a fight. So, where it looks like you're about to conquer a city, you hit end turn... And when it's your turn again, all of a sudden there's 15 enemy units all over the area and you've lost half your army. And they they were freighted in from <laughs> literally around the globe. That still frustrates me. But um, other than that, everything else seems to be run really smoothly. Um, Not going to upgrade. We're not gaining training points nearly as fast as we used to. So we're just going to leave the uh, the hoplites here to keep leveling up for a bit. Same with you and you. Oh, actually, we're going to go ahead and... Oh, you're standing just outside the border? All right, move to there. That's everybody. This first game, a lot of it is me relearning the interface, relearning the advancements, the tech tree. I'm doing a very poor job at actually managing the cities. In, in that, I mean, I'm not taking advantage of overlapping bonuses for proximity of buildings or leadership bonuses and so on. So I'm still getting back into grips with that kind of stuff. So we're playing very suboptimally in that regard. Um... I've, I've remembered, and now after this game, I'm starting to figure some of that out again. But future games, uh, I'll definitely do it differently, and it'll move a lot faster. 
So, I think we're done for this year. This is my favorite part, though. I hit end year, I count to like five, and it's my turn again. <laughs> Yeah, that one took about 10 seconds. The Gauls have converted to Judaism, have they? Affairs of the people. After a youth spent watching you in court, your son, Duke Maliger, wishes to participate in politics. He believes that years of study have prepared him for this responsibility. I am ready to work and to serve. How do you reply? You are powerful and therefore, <laughs> therefore above petty politics. Gain uh, uh, civics. I always forget the name of that. Gain civics. He becomes corrupt or noble profession if you stay true to your principles. So he gains discipline and becomes honest. Um, he is only 19. We'll start taking the stat bonuses over anything else. You get uh, more money. Wait, leader, all cities plus 20%. Oh, that's maintenance. Yeah, that's terrible. We don't want that. <laughs> That's terrible. So yeah, we're going to say uh, gain some discipline. In the blood, generals of the powerful Assyria military parade through our capital led by the king himself, Tukulti Ninurta. He has come to treat you with treat with you personally. The surprise visit stems from Tukulti Ninurta's desire to improve relations, especially since you are both renowned commanders. Warfare is in your blood. This required both of us to have specialties. Hero, Commander, Tactician. Hero, Commander, Tactician. Huh. We're at what? Minus 71? Oh my goodness. <laughs> um, I. When did that change so much? Minus 80% we are different. Commander versus Tactician. That's where it went. Wow. That sucks. 40 because more generals won than us. What a swing. Um, that's not good. The lengthy piece is worth one. <laughs> if I just assign a general, I gain 30 or 40. <laughs> huh. All right. So share some knowledge, huh? Syria acquires a random tech. As a, he becomes obliged. Let us begin with a military alliance. I'm surprised that's being offered given our minus 71 status. How the hell am I almost at the same status as Persia, who we've been fighting for a while? Hmm. Or a friendship is not in our nation's best interest. That's not good. I think we have to go military alliance, of course. Okay, I don't know exactly what that's going to mean. I can see Assyria, at least. He did get pretty well penned in. There's Assur. Alab. Whoa, he hasn't actually actually conquered that yet? Or set up a city there yet? Nineveh. Kalhu. Arpad. You got a bunch of archer units and an onager. Gonna go after the Vandals, hopefully. All right. Uh, yeah, I don't remember exactly what player alliance. We have an alliance with only one other nation. An ally will automatically declare war on another nation that declares war on there. So does that mean you're there now at war with uh, Persia? Uh, Persia says peace. So he doesn't inherit the war I'm already in? Because that kind of sucks. I'll wait till next turn to see if it updates or changes. But um, yeah, that's not great. Because I think that lets him move through my territory. And I'm not going to gain any real benefit from it if he's not going to also be at war with, uh, with Persia. Hmm. All right. Finish the barracks, training, slinger attacked up north. Yep, that's not a surprise. He did not come mess with me here, at least. He had no real units super close. Uh, 
All right, so the important things. We want to... Neither of these can kill him, but he can. All right, get in there. Rebel Gladiators. The core of the defeated Vandal forces made up of escaped gladiators, highly trained slaves, and former soldiers. Cindervolt the Vandal is the gladiator's leader, and while vulgar, he knows power when he sees it. He bows to the throne. Let us fight for you. Very well, your, <clears throat> your swords are ours. Gain a warrior, and King Aristander, the warrior, gains charisma. You're more valuable to us as labor, legitimacy, and citizens, plus border tiles in Athens. That could be fairly powerful. That's our main city, of course. Such leadership should not be wasted. Wisdom, and the Vandal becomes a courtier, a court soldier. And I could make him a general. Uh, I desperately do need generals. I'm not too worried about the legitimacy. The citizens and the border tiles could be really powerful. And, of course, a warrior unit. Um, hmm. I'm not... I don't think the border expansion is going to do much for me here in Athens. There's not much out this way that I don't already have connected. And the rest of the directions are connecting into other cities. So I don't think that's going to help much. I'm still trying to get a grip on the, uh, the citizens and the specialists. Things like that. So, armor specialist, trapper specialist. Hmm. I think I want the, the general more than I want the warrior. Alright, so we've taken the city site. We're holding it for Greece. Um, let's get you back over here. Healed. Let's see. So I'm going to assume that the, uh, the Assyrians can take care of that last Vandal presence that I know about on this side of the mountains. Another thing I really like uh, about the game, every... I won't say every single map because I don't remember them all, but I've I remember being really impressed with the map generation. They've always, so far at least, seemed to have made really interesting maps with regards to terrain placement and barriers and rivers and roads and city placements and so on. I think they got a really good for the type of map that this game has, they've got a really good uh, generation system for putting together the maps and how the city locations are placed and all that kind of stuff. Makes for interesting decision making. Oh my god, there's actually a shrine that hasn't been claimed up here. <laughs> How'd that happen? Huh. Tucked it way back in the corner there. Uh, I'm tempted to try to go get it, but it's not going to let me through here. Really? Is that really blocking access between the two directions? I want to bring him south so I can get him healed again, but, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's get him out of here. Let's put you. Nope, we can get to it. All right, you go get that. Frightened families. Caravan of frightened families approaches our explorers. They explain that bloodthirsty raiders have been preying on them. They look to you for protection. How shall we help them? Join us. We will protect you. So become gracious. Send our fighters to face the, tra the raider. Uh, what is that? Archer. What? He's going to gain hardy, I assume. Oh, he's going to get a training, so... Or give us guides and we will pay your tormentors. So, I can spend a hundred bucks and gain a scout, basically. Hmm. I wouldn't mind becoming gracious early in my reign. Getting a free scout up in that north so I can keep moving around is pretty useful at the moment, too, though.
I'm going to take the leader bonus. Looks like there's probably a path up through there as well. But we're going to sit on the campsite. Feller unit, get north. No change out there, no change over here. Two years, three years before we kick off any kind of a scrum down there. Uh, cleared that. So we've cleared up everything, supposedly, that I was uh, having a problem with. I just need to get scouts moving. Now I don't need him guarding this anymore, but he'll be my northern scout. Because <laughs> of course there is. Oh, what do you know? What a surprise. More vandals tucked up in the hills. Does that mean they're they're already maxed upgrade? Yep, they're at a bastion already. New unit in seven turns, huh? <sighs> Means I gotta task these units again to go up and deal with Another encampment. I'm never going to get these guys out of the north. Alright, which spots? So... That and that do not expand the northern border of the city. I don't think it's going to make much difference where I put this. Put it farther north. Arrgh. Military units, militia, go night night. You're just place holding. Got to bring you north. Deal with them. What do? We're about to hit level four. Discontent. <laughs> Defending Sipsalid military units. That's right. Get them units in there. I gotta remember that. They're saying a festival, are they? I think another settler might be in order. It's the best place I can get them from. Good old Sparta, who now has a governor. Not a settler. Level four negative. Ouch. Can't do the forum. What have I got? One onager down south? Get one more onager. Definitely for them. You are doing the road. You are gonna do a courthouse. Just finish the barracks. I have a stronghold to upgrade to a citadel. But I need to get the discontent buildings going. You're done. One order left. Well, that worked out pretty well. Yeah, I want to get a second onager down here, but I, I need to keep this one up north. 
Just in case this group decides to get froggy on me. I need to keep enough military units over here to repel a possible invasion from that side. So it's going to have to be that one, which unfortunately means it's going to take me even longer to get units down there. Yep, just the two. All right. Thought I had one more rolling around somewhere. You're 80. Yeah, they're definitely going to take those vandals out. Okay, birth to a son. And another kid in the mix. You get all the way up there? Not quite. So we got Samarkand settled. He's got units nearby. He's got a contiguous border between these cities now that stretched out a good way. And he's got more units down here. Hmm. In two years. I'm gonna have to see if I can speed up this onager. How much is it gonna cost me? 260 civics and 14 unrest. Or discontent. Do it. Desperately need that down there. Oh, oh man. <laughs> That's a terrible message. Discontent level, discontent level, discontent level. Elite club thrower scene. Oh, what the hell is that? Ouch. Well, that is ouch. Hmm. All right. Oh, he killed my scout. You bastard. Uh. All right. <laughs> Crappity crap. I wasn't expecting my scout to die. Hey there, settler. I need you to found, let's see. I did argue it again most recently. So either or the other two. A not argued location. <laughs> We're more likely to have mines. There you go, Sipsalids. Stories and souvenirs. Scouts encounter an expedition of strangers following a similar route. They call themselves Carthaginians and hail from a distant land beyond the horizon. Sharing a cordial meal, the two groups exchange stories and souvenirs. How shall our scouts conclude this meeting? So we found, or Carthage found us. <laughs> we didn't find him. Give him a gift, opinion for a big old pile of cash, maintain the truce. We must dominate them. Go to war. No, let's not do that. We're running out of money. Hey there, Carthage. <clears throat> wow. That's Carthage right there. Oh, crap. This is going to be another one of those where nations that got left alone are going to be just raffle stomping everybody else. I don't know if this is true that that's their only cities. 14 specialists. Ouch. Rome is probably going to raffle stomp everybody. 
But we've added Carthage to the list, so we're supposedly one point ahead of Carthage. We're not in last place. <laughs> Need to find some Romans. Well, crap. I didn't think this kind of a strength was going to come out of there. I thought he would have already pulled some units over that I'd already dealt with previously. So, we're going to pull you back. There. Hit him. I don't want to abandon this city site, because then again, Assyria could just walk over and grab it. I need to heal these guys. <clears throat> Can't quite get... Oh, if I force march him one, I can get in range and kill that guy. Alright, we're going to do it. Force march. Oh well. <laughs> I'm just going to have to hope. I got too many places to settle and not enough settlers. I haven't looked around enough to know what other terrain is up here. I'm just gonna think that's. Oh, I already moved. All right, never mind. Six orders left, and I haven't even looked at some of my important areas. Another hoplite unit. Ooh, another hoplite unit. I need to get him to the south. I think these three units with their strength and their upgrades will be able to, to deal with this, this setup. I just need to get somebody over here. There's absolutely nobody in the area. Unless I pull him off. Let's do that. Next turn, we'll step into there, or I force march him in there now. All right, so we're going to assume we've protected that site for Greece. These three will be able to deal with that group, even though he's heavily wounded. Might bring one more archer over just to make sure. Um... Uh, you're going to stay there, Hoplite, because we got no points anyway. Look at all these, uh, all these generals. Maybe I can finally get that one thing done. Now, look around first. You're fine. Five years for a settle or a hoplite or an onager. Let's get one more onager into the mix. That'll give us four. I can group them up two in two different locations. Yeah, we're just gonna hope. Let's uh bring them as far south as we can. <laughs> I don't want to kick that fight off yet. No! It's too early for any of that stuff. It's 
So we got navigation back on the list again. I keep having to pass up steel and portcullis and now torsion for the ballista. We gotta get this. The Scythians approach asking us for a truce. Uh, there are still Scythians? No, no thanks, Scythians. Mono or Polly? There, the, <laughs> the is only one true god. Uh, all right. So, monotheism, respect to the old and the new gods, polytheism. State religion cities get plus one orders per year and build unlimited shrines. We're going to go with uh, one true god. Local brigands, commander of our warrior squads, has received numerous reports of raiders prowling the nation's roadways. He seeks the court's support to root out these villains and restore security. Track and kill them? Minus four orders. Could lead to future events. Or we need our warrior on military duty. Gain XP. Uh, sure. We'll commit. Alright, uh, another city... Who was left? I think it was the Alchemanids. Yeah. All right, your turn, Alchemanids. Ouch. Hmm. It's interesting. Look at all these uh, incense groves. Or incense groves. Or Syra. Hmm. We're gonna have to leave that archer here. Let's see. First down south. So what did you do? You brought an archer forward. I should have uh, deployed that guy. I screwed up not deploying him. Should have put him on this hilltop here and deployed him. So we can trade archer shots. Which I'm afraid is going to draw more guys over before I'm ready. We got the warrior done. We got one more turn on this archer. And then we've got... One more onager coming down from somewhere. Forget where. Hmm. I think I'm going to back off. I think it's better if I back off right now. Leave the scout to keep an eye on things. Just not quite ready to kick this thing off. So let's bring you back to the trees. Bring you back to the trees. Get you healed up. Or we'll treat you. Oh. You to there. You to there. We'll unlimber him in the trees there, just in case he does keep coming forward. Maybe we'll get a shot. All right, down to 13. Ah, so many things to do. This is probably the next most important. Yeah, I need a few more rounds of not having fights all over the place. I can save the orders for a whole bunch of movement I need to get done. The battle between um, where to spend your orders is is real. Could 
Couldn't quite finish him. We got a critical, but we're just short. Seven orders left. Trying to bring him south. Holding on, doing nothing at the moment. Get you healed again. Definitely want to get my road continued. You and you are done. The extra warrior is done. Ah, there's that other onager. Ugh. And <laughs> once again, we just get to creep this last guy forward a bit. Or get a archer posted up somewhere more useful. I still think I can finish this off with these guys. It's gonna be close, but I think I can get it done. Especially since I can back them off and heal them. I'll probably kill that, back off, heal, and then we'll go finish them. They're just gonna end up being stuck up here in the north, so I'm gonna just resign myself to them not being able to be pulled south. So let's go ahead and keep pulling this guy south. I just feel like I'm not getting enough done to advance my overall position in relation to the years going by with our 200 year limit. Wow, we moved up into a tie with second place. Ah, Assyria, who I've been protecting, is up to 22 all of a sudden. <laughs> I knew it was going to be... I, I said that when we first started, when I talked about bottling Assyria in here, that he would get protected by me, and he would just uh, go vertical. And he has, like, no, no dangers, no fights to worry about. He's actually got a route up north here, I think, around these mountains. So, that's what sucks about getting stuck in the middle here. <laughs> Alright. Idle City. Forum, please. Sparta just put out that other onager. Let's go with... I think I have to finally succumb and do a uh, do a festival. Thebes just finished that warrior. One more archer gonna come in showing up, and we'll have two onagers. That'll have to be enough. We're already level four here, so yeah, festival time. And nope, no walls for you. See what happens. Hmm, that's not good. That means he's gonna come across and actually kill me. God damn it. He's fully committed. There it is. <laughs> uh, damn it! And it's out of range of my setup onager as well. Oh crap. Well, this, this did not go well. Rebels have formed an archer near Thebes. Oh, uh, that was a terrible turn. <laughs> that was just terrible. Piece of surprising news. The squad of warrior we sent to protect the roads has encountered fierce resistance. Bandit activity in the area proves to be much more widespread than we had anticipated. In fact, one might call this a rebellion. Well, thanks. I could have taken the easy way out, apparently. <laughs> Spend what is needed to send in more forces. Warrior gains XP, gain another warrior, minus 260% training, minus metal, gain XP for the king. Our forces in the area can handle the threat. No, I'll take the extra warrior, thanks. Yeah, that was a terrible turn, so he actually fully committed. 
which I was not ready for. So now I'm down a unit. He's got four right there adjacent to my spy who's going to get uh, stomped on. He's got uh, units in reserve. Well, hi there. That's annoying as all hell as well. <laughs> this is a terrible round. Ugh. You have got to retreat back, get across the river. You also need to get out of here. Let's send you... I think we'll send him up this way. Although I've already got a spy right there. Alright, let's just retreat back to here for now. Ah, that's a terrible turn. I think instead of uh, fighting this out right now, though, we're going to put a save in. V4, please. Game save. All right, that's all the time I've got for this first block of the day. So that's uh, the four hour point. I'm going to, you know, go lick my wounds, have lunch. Do some things, and then we'll be back at uh, in two hours at four o'clock to continue our uh, our run for Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. So, hope to see you then. Thanks for watching, everybody. Supporting the channel. Be back with you here in a couple hours. Till then, stay safe out there.